Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we're going to talk about Yuzu, the Nintendo Switch emulator. Let's get started. So I've already been asked about the Nintendo Switch emulator, and I decided to do a video on it. Before I get started, if you have your hopes up about right now emulating the Nintendo Switch, you are going to be disappointed. Yuzu is out there in development, but currently it does not work. On the plus side, they do have the emulator, and they are working on it, and if you are very good at coding, you can actually help them work on it. So it's called Yuzu. Um, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I do apologize if I'm not pronouncing it correctly. I'll probably always call it Yuzu just by the way it's spelt and the way it looks to me. Um, but it's being developed by the group that put out Citra. And if you're familiar with Citra, it is a 3DS emulator and a very good 3DS emulator, I may add. The information here, it says it's written in C++ with portability in mind, uh, with builds actively maintained for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. So while the Switch is on Android, it does not look like there will be an Android emulator right out of the gate. Uh, that's completely understandable considering you're probably going to need a lot of horsepower in your computer in order to run this. So Yuzu started in about 2017 springtime. You can see it right here in the about section. Uh, so it's almost a year old. It is still extremely new. Um, and it is also open source, which means this will be a free emulator once it's officially, I guess, working. You can get it now, but once it's really working, it will be free. A very interesting thing here is that Yuzu is a fork of Citra. So it is a fork of a 3DS emulator. It's not an Android emulator per se. So what that means, and it's actually a good thing, since Citra is up and running and works well, this emulator here, Yuzu, will use the same architecture of Citra, just a modified version of it. And on their about page here, they have three questions. So first, can I play Switch games? The answer to this is no. Uh, Yuzu does not run any commercial Switch games. Yuzu can boot some games to varying degrees of success, but does not implement any of the necessary GPU features to render 3D graphics. And what I get from that is that first and foremost, yes, this obviously doesn't run Switch games, but the first games that this will run are probably lower system demand games. So they might be some indie games that are out there, uh, namely something like Shovel Knight, which isn't really pushing the Switch to its limits. So it's not very CPU heavy. It doesn't use a lot of RAM. It's not really using the GPU to its full extent. If you're wondering when this is gonna emulate Breath of the Wild or Super Mario Odyssey, it's going to be a while for those. Um, those really push the system per se compared to, you know, a light indie game like Shovel Knight. Um, those are more graphically intense and those will require a lot more understanding of how the emulator works, how the Nintendo Switch works in order to get this, those games up and running at full speed. And what I mean by this is a game like Shovel Knight will get up and running at full frame rate, no issues a lot quicker than Breath of the Wild. They might get Breath of the Wild up and running on it, but again, it's gonna have frame rate issues. Maybe it's gonna run at like two to three frames a second, be pretty much unplayable. Maybe there's gonna be graphical issues, graphical tearing, all that stuff. And that's all gonna take a while. And that leads right into their next question on their about page. When will Yuzu run games? Uh, they say right here, in short, we do not know how soon games might run. Uh, while Yuzu is making great progress, Switch emulation is very complex. Running games is one of the team's top priorities, so we are actively working towards that goal. So at this point in time, they don't even know when Yuzu is going to run a game. Now, it's very difficult to predict when, because it could be tomorrow. Maybe there's a breakthrough in their coding. Maybe they discover something. Maybe it's going to be in a year's time. Maybe they find little bits here and there that they can get working. Um, it's really difficult to tell. And with emulators in the past, some of them have been able to run games no problem, uh, some struggle. And I'll give you an example here. Uh, if you look at the Raspberry Pi, you can run PlayStation games without issue. However, if you're trying to run a Nintendo 64 game, uh, it, 
doesn't run near as smooth. It's a little more difficult to get running smoothly, and that's just due to the complexity of the system itself, as well as the efficiency of the emulator. And this leads right into the next thing that I wanted to talk about, and that is PC specs. Yuzu is probably not gonna be able to emulate games very well on our standard run-of-the-mill PC. And now, even though the Nintendo Switch is not near as powerful as a PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, uh, they compare it in you know the Xbox 360, PS3 kind of range, it doesn't mean the emulator will run well on a lesser powerful system. And yes, even though it shares some of the same architecture as the 3DS uh, emulator in Citra, this is an incredibly more powerful system than the 3DS. And how powerful of a system will you need? Who knows? So at this point, it's very difficult to tell. Um, and also with time as well, the emulator is usually refined and able to work on lower power systems. And the last question on their about page is, where does the name come from? And I kind of like this. So it, they call it yuzu, which is a citrus fruit uh, in Asian cuisine, I guess. I've honestly never heard of it until this emulator. And it's kind of related to Citra. So that's a cool little bit of information there. Yuzu also has a donation page. And while it is a free emulator, completely free, and when they're done, you can download it, no problem. You can download it right now, no problem. Uh, they do ask for donations. And the donations help cover different things like switch consoles, uh, switch games, web hosting, stuff like that. Um, these guys all do it you know, on their own time here and they're building it for free. So if you are inclined and are a big supporter of emulators, uh, here is the donation information. So I'll leave a link as well in the description below. Anyways, that's all I've got for today. Let me know what you think about the Yuzu emulator in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video or are upset that Yuzu doesn't work yet for Switch games, leave a like, don't leave a dislike. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.